Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you something we've been working on at Stotids, our brand new motion design pack for Unreal Engine. If you're into real-time broadcasting, live news, sports, or even virtual production, this pack is going to save you tons of time and give your graphics a seriously polished professional look. So what's inside? Well, you're getting a full set of motion graphics, things like lower thirds, animated tickers, smooth transitions, and more, all fully customizable and ready to drop right into your scene. The best part, everything is designed to work live in Unreal. That means you can control these elements in real time using Unreal's remote control API, or even hook it up to a custom controller or web UI if you got one. No pre-rendering, no delay, everything updates instantly, which makes it perfect for live productions or on the fly changes. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set it up, show you some of the cool presets we built, and how you can tweak them to match your brand or broadcast style. So let's jump in and bring your live graphics to the next level. So let's go to stockeds.com, and um, once we're there, we can download motion graphics and access a wide range of virtual sets that are uh, perfect for virtual production, live broadcasting, and more. Once we download the motion design pack, we can use it directly in Unreal Engine or other compositing software without any hassle. We've already extracted the project files, and if you're looking for that .spac file, you'll find it inside the export folder. Now let's open up the project in Unreal Engine. Once it's loaded, Unreal will automatically initialize all the necessary plugins and graphics. The engine will be up and running, and you'll see a simple guide to help you get started. Head over to the content browser, navigate to the root folder, and inside, you'll find the motion design folder. Double click on the rundown icon. This is where all the broadcast graphics and elements are managed. Inside the rundown, you'll notice a section called pages where every page needed for the broadcast is listed. These pages are built using templates and everything is fully editable. Clicking on a page reveals its controller in the page details panel where you can customize colors, text, and other visual parameters based on your requirements. Next, we'll look at the broadcast setup area where we configure the output devices. You'll see that a display output is already set, but you can remove it and add a new one if needed. There are several output options, including render targets and NDI outputs. For this demo, we'll select a render target. Once that's selected, you can configure the render target settings as needed, and you can also add multiple channels by hitting Add Channel. Finally, we'll head back to the rundown and open the media input section where you can manage incoming media files. Just select your desired media and it'll sync right into your broadcast environment. We have an NDI setup available, which you can use as an input if needed. For now, we've selected a video file as the input. In the rundown, you can preview the input before going live. Once you take it in, it will go live. Now, let's preview the logo. Again, once taken in, it will be live. In the same way, you can take in lower thirds. Use the preview to check the elements before taking them live. Now I'm going to take in all the necessary elements for a news broadcast. Let's set up the windows. Open the ticker and full screen graphics. Everything is ready to go live. And that's it. Your virtual news broadcast is now fully set up and ready to go live with motion graphics, lower thirds, tickers, and full screen visuals. With just a few clicks, you can control everything in real time. Simple, professional, and efficient. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more templates and tools at stockeds.com to take your production to the next level.